my name is Tim Kahnmach, MVP for Developer Technologies, working on and with a lot of things related to Adaptive Card since probably two years, roughly. I'm also the, the creator of Made with Cards IO, just a community page which has various Adaptive Card samples, links to blogs, just have a look at it. The extension we are talking about is also uh, linked on, on the page. So uh, without further ado, when you install the uh, extension to VS Code, you get uh, a few nice features when you're working with adaptive cards. First of all, I'm just a regular uh, repository I'm working on, some Vue.js application, doesn't really matter. Uh, in there, I have a couple of uh, adaptive cards. So what's new when you have the uh, extension installed, you have that adaptive cards button here. You go there and it shows you automatically all the adaptive cards you have in your uh, in the open workspace. It does that, but it's just scanning all JSON files you have in your currently open workspace and just tries to identify if th that JSON file is an adaptive card or not. And if it's an adaptive card, it gets listed here. Um, it also allows you to download and directly use all the samples we have on the Made with Cards IO website to use it as a starting point pretty much. So you can just uh, browse the samples we have. Let's take just this as an example. You put in your own name, uh, whatever it is. And as you can see, uh, zoomed, it's pretty, that is. As you can see, it just shows you the adaptive card on the right side. It shows you the, the, uh, the code for the adaptive card. And it also gives you uh, the sample data that's used. And whatever you do, if you change the data around, for example, it, it automatically updates the card. Uh, if you change the the template itself, it also uh, it also automatically updates the card. So while working on on the JSON code in VS Code, you can directly see the adaptive card. You can can uh, yeah see the updates. You can play with the with the card. Yeah, and just make it a lot easier to work with adaptive cards from a developer perspective, pretty much, because the JSON is probably more towards developers than pure designers. We also added a few nice convenient features, let's call them that. If you're starting with a brand new card, you can just use the uh, varied snippets we have in there. Um, you can start with a snippet for a card example, or you can say, no, I just want, want to start with a, with a blank adaptive card. So it gives you the rough boilerplate you need to have for an adaptive card, or just card elements as snippets to make it easier. Text, text block, or like uh, yeah, a container, um, Whatever, so it really it, it makes it really easy to work with adaptive cards as, as such. Let's take that one. What you can also also do, like uh, just use the text box. The other thing you can do is one one thing we are uh, working on right now that's not yet working uh, is you can send a card directly to Teams to yourself to test it. What is working is the uh, option to send a card to Outlook. Uh, oh, I have it open somewhere there. Are. And when you send a card to Outlook, you just get it sent as it is in Outlook. Outlook renders the card, and you also get the, the JSON layout you use, a uh, JSON template you use for the card, and um, you get the sample data you used. And then you have the card rendered in, in Outlook. And we, we are currently doing the same for, um, for Teams. That's not there yet, but it's coming pretty soon. So basically what the extension does is it yeah, allows you to work with adaptive cards a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, if you have cards like in a Git repository or whatever, you can even work on them properly together. That's pretty much it. I hope it wasn't too fast. If you have any questions, like I guess I have still have like a couple of minutes left. Yeah, actually, you know what, would you would you mind just bringing up a web page? I put the link in the chat, but you may have it handy there that shows just the Adaptive Card Studio in the Visual Studio uh, marketplace, oh, yeah. just so we can get it in the yeah. picture and everybody kind of see what they know they're looking for. So uh, it's on it's on the Made with Cards page. So yeah, if you haven't seen that one, that's always worth a visit. We have a ton of sample cards here. That's the same you have in, in Visual Studio Code. We also have that the link here to the um, to the Visual Studio Code itself, to the extension. And if you go there, there's uh, that's the Adaptive Card Studio. That's the name of it. It also says it's made with Made with Cards .io, um, and that's the official page on the. Uh, Visual Studio Code extensions. The one thing you might see somewhere it's named it's named beta at the end. That's like we we were not able to change that. It was initially in beta. We were hoping to change that. So it is the original version, even if it says beta here. It's a it's a full version. So that's it's no longer in beta or anything.
All right. Very, very cool. Yeah, this is really neat, especially how you can send it to Outlook and you can send it to Teams. Excellent, excellent work there. Um, the the one thing maybe maybe uh, I can get some feedback on that. I don't I don't know. The one thing with Teams is right now we we are working on a bot because technically you right now to send a card you need a bot. Um, we were hoping to be able to use the um, the App Studio extension in, in Teams. We're still talking to Microsoft about that, or I'm still talking to Microsoft about that, if we can use it, if I can use it. But uh, by the looks of it, uh, I would uh, need to have a, yeah, a, a new bot and uh, people would have to install the bot to use it. And the only question I have, if people have any concerns with doing that. So pretty much, if you want to send it to Teams, you might need a bot to use it. All right. Well, very, very cool extension, Tim. Excellent. Thank you for sharing uh, and publishing no that out as well. So yep. nice demo. Thank you.